dragons welcome back to my channel today i'm talking about whoop, mr begone by clyde barker this is my very first video collaboration and i am collaborating with david from david book reviews so go ahead and give him some love subscribe watch his videos he has amazing reviews one of the things that i love about his channel is all of the amazing stephen king book reviews that he has he's a huge stephen king enthusiast like myself <laughs> so definitely go ahead and check it out we will have a video over on his channel where i talk about a couple of things that i liked about mr begun and a couple of things that i didn't like as much so if you want to know those definitely go ahead and check his channel out in his video i will leave it down below and also above here i'm not sure where why we one of those places <laughs> so yes let's get started with the review i guess it's been a while since i've been reviewing like in a specific book but i definitely want to get back to it i definitely need to read more to do that also um i was actually driving back home and they were selling bubbles for like the christmas tree they were selling christmas lights and like hold on halloween is not even over yet like we haven't even had halloween and everyone's already like in the christmas spirit so please everyone stop it um i, I am very much in the halloween spirit as you can see uh, but let's talk about some Clive Barker, shall we? Mr. Begone, I do have to disclaim, first of all, it gets really gory and there are some very descriptive details. So if you don't love that, um, maybe this is not for you. And okay, look, I am fine <laughs> with some goriness into the story when it helps tells the story and move things forward and it's important for the storyline. I read a lot of Stephen King and I'm fine with some of that, but I feel like this goes over a line where it's a little bit way too descriptive i wish that would have been toned down but it is there in case you are like not into that at all and you hate that probably not the book for you i do want to put that out there first of all this book is such a unique thing we are basically talking with a demon that is trapped within the pages so you open it up and the first thing is this demon telling you to burn the book to not read stop reading stop it right now go ahead and just burn the book that is like the main thing throughout the whole thing so you're talking with him and eventually he tells you the story of how he goes into the book we first get him on hell the underworld we see him go out of there and then uh his journey through earth which i wish it was a little bit stronger on there like a longer part of the story but we get to see a little bit of that and then the way that he goes into the book so that is mainly what the book is about i will give david from david books review a little bit of time right now so that he can tell you guys a couple of things that he really liked about this book and a couple of things that he didn't really enjoy as much in the book hi guys recently me and um Aline or pygmy puff reads have done a buddy reads with Mr. Be Gone by Clive Barker. In today in this video, I will just tell you a couple of my likes and dislikes for this novel. So let's start off with something positive. Let's start off with the likes. So the first thing I liked about this book was how Jackabog, the demon that resides in this book, that is trapped in this book, is actually talking about how he can see you and how he can read your facial expressions while you're reading the book and how he can interpret your emotions and your facial expressions and um, how he says to you, oh, di did you feel that shake in the book? That was me. Or did you see the letters blurred? That was me moving you know, around. And how he um, tells you and actually convinces you as the reader that he is physically trapped within this book that you are reading. And the um, second thing I liked about this book is how engaged I was. Never before have I picked up a book before and I have been so determined to know what happens at the end because it's such a build up with um, Jacobog like uh, like a threatening you without um, not burning the book and actually releasing him and ending his torments because you want to know how it actually ends you because he keeps on threatening you because you haven't burned the book yet and never before have I come across a book where I have to know what happens at the end I was like on the edge of my seat every time I picked it up I was like I was actually saying to myself I have to know how this book ends 
And um, for a book to be that engaging and wanting to me to get to the end, that's a massive achievement. So now we come to my dislikes for this novel. One of the main issues I had with this book is that it didn't seem to have a, a set destination or a set goal that Jacobog was actually going towards. You never knew where the story was going. You didn't know if there was a destination or an object or an achievement that Jacobog had to go to on on his journey throughout this book that he was telling you. And um, that was extremely frustrating. I was like, okay, I'm engaged with this book, but where is this going? That was kind of a confusing thing for me, but at the same time, I really liked the story, but I was like thinking, okay, where is this ultimately going? And my final dislike for the novel is that it jumps around a lot. Like when Jacobog's telling you about his life, he uh, is uh, telling you all these events and it kind of jumps from one scene to the next, like, oh, he's going to this place with this person or he's going to this per um, place that doesn't seem to connect. And it seems to jump from situation and situation or, or, or events or random events in his life rather than sticking to a linear story. And um, that was kind of frustrating uh, as I as it was jumping around a lot and I didn't know what to focus on. So let's go straight back to Pygmy Puff Reads where she'll be telling you guys the rest of her feelings towards this book. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think about all of those opinions? <laughs> what do you guys think about David's um, things that he liked and he didn't? Such an interesting stuff. I loved by reading with him because we had some different opinions on some characters. We had different perspectives and he had such different opinions about it. And it was just so much fun to see his thought process while we were reading. So it was so much fun by reading this with David. Definitely, like I said, links down below so that you can check it out. Uh, his book review and his channel out. I did really like this and I'm gonna tell you it goes and it grows a little bit but sometimes it feels like it has no direction at all. <laughs> you don't know like what is the end goal of these? Like what am I even reading this for? You do get a little bit motivated because the demon is telling you like stop reading, don't read anymore and it, it, that kind of makes you want to read more. <laughs> <laughs> or at least for me, like if you tell me don't read it, I'm gonna read it. So yeah, it goes into bigger things. I feel like the main point of this book and the author is really trying to make a distinction between religion or what he's taken to like actually be heaven and hell and then religion as an institution. And I feel like he's really anti-institution because he does has really strong opinions about what human beings are like and sometimes most of the book you really feel like demons are not as bad when you compare them into human beings like this demon comes to earth and he's like this is basically hell on earth and it's not because people are born evil or anything like that but because they have free will and they make this place so awful and you can really see that throughout this whole book that story of how we can create heaven or hell here on earth and most of the times humans decide to create hell especially sadly religious institution and i'm not talking about fate or god or anything like that but people here on earth like regular humans and then the ones that are supposed to be on the power in this institution and this religious institution and the actions that they have created through history the way that they behave towards other human beings that is the main point of the it is mind-blowing at times it has its moments i wish instead of having that much talk with the demon we had more storyline but at the end i liked it i love the way that he really gives a ton of power to words to books um and he puts that as such a huge thing in the world because it is like knowledge is power and i think that this author definitely knows it i wish we could take the gory stuff out of it a little bit at least so yeah that is my review for mr Begone by clive barker have you read this are you going to read it what are your thoughts um about it i am so being excited to know so leave those down below give it a thumbs up as always if you enjoy it and if you want to watch more book reviews and bookish content just go ahead and watch on my channel and make sure that you are subscribed for all of that stuff thank you so much for watching and i will see you book dragons in my next video bye
Remember when you saw me in the club, didn't show me any love. You was too busy, popping bottles with the thugs, I know you was feeling